Climate change moves slowly, and the effects aren't obvious in the way that an earthquake or a landslide clearly results in change. But rather, there are tipping points and feedback loops driven by a general warming trend. The changing climate forces us to consider the potential impacts on plants, animals, and the landscape in general, so that we may develop strategies to adapt in order to maintain our livelihoods. But what is climate? And how do we know that it is changing? Climate isn't what happens from one day to the next, or even one year to the next. It is the very long-term weather trends of an area. For example, let's look at the territories of the Seke Dene and Karkaros Tagish nations. We asked the elders in both nations about the changes in climate that they've observed in their lifetime and about the stories of change that they learned from their elders. They told us that the seasons are shifting. Winters are becoming shorter and warmer, while summers are becoming longer and hotter. In some areas of their territories, rainfall is increasing, causing faster erosion in rivers, while in other locations, rainfall is decreasing, forcing animals to migrate elsewhere. Data collected from weather stations tells the same story. Since 1945, the average temperature has increased by nearly 2 degrees within the Seke Dene Nation and 1.5 degrees within Karkaros Tagish territory. The length of the seasons is also changing, and by the year 2090, there may be approximately 70 more days of summer temperatures in these regions. Daily, weekly, and annual weather patterns are becoming less predictable as a result of the general warming. What were previously well-established time frames for the arrival of winter or spring are no longer consistent. This means that lakes are no longer freezing over when they used to, and spring thaw is coming earlier, impacting the overall water balance of the landscape and forcing plants and animals to adapt and change their behavior. Some species may not be able to adapt and may become lost from the area. All of these changes have an impact on the traditional cultural practices and seasonal activities of the Seke Dene and Karkaros Tagish nations, and their ability to manage and live off the land. As time goes on, climate scientists predict that these changes will continue, but the direction, extent, and full impacts of the changes remain unknown. Community-based climate monitoring is one way we can learn more about these changes and their impacts. The elders tell us that nature is out of balance and that education and considered adaptive planning are the best ways to prepare for future changes. <laughs>